My outfit is just very clashy today. Sorry. I don't want to get them wearing jeans and I don't want to get them nasty. And I think we're going to see... Hello, I know there are people outside. If Zelda is in heat. So she's been standing at the fence, sort of, harassing the boys today, which would mean she's not pregnant. The gates are closed. I'm going to see if I can get the boys up, possibly, and get Bean out with her. We'll see. My guess is that the boys will not come with me initially. Not, I'll just go get her. Kind of like we've been doing. Sorry, you like lots of breeding videos. I'm sorry we missed Friday's video. There's just been so much going on. I promise maybe November things will settle down a little bit, but I was talking to Ryan who has bought who bought Toffee and Tootsie about breeding and different things today and I was talking to her about Farrier and I think what I'm gonna do is have Farrier come out in November and clean everybody's feet up and teach me how to use a hoof boss because I think that would be really good. And we may wait late enough if we can get everybody bred. She also does ultrasounds, Ryan said, to see if we can get some of these guys scanned all at the same time. Not felt good today. I can't decide if I have allergies or if I have a little bit of a head cold. And there's this respiratory virus going around, not COVID but that lots of people have had. Hey, you wanna go visit the boys? Do you wanna go visit them? So this is what's happening. Which makes me think that this is the case. Huh. Let's go. Come on, Zoe. Let's go up to the barn. I know, the boys are there. I'll take you to the boys. We just have to go out this door, okay? Come on. She's like not having it. All these girls are like, yeah, snacks. It's not having snacks either. You know. I know. You want to go back that way. Let's go this way. I'm not pulling on her. She's pulling on me. Move. No. Nope. I'm going to let you out with the boys. Damn. I need you guys to move. She's wanting to go this way. She's running away from me. I hate breeding. I love goat babies. This process inevitably drives me crazy because they don't behave like they're trained to. And everybody's hormonal. So everybody acts like an idiot. I know, you're not supposed to be in there. And like now I need to get them out. But I have all these guys that I can't get out of here. And the goat that I need is down there. And there's just yelling. Okay. Pause. Let me regroup. Okay, they all stormed in here again. So I fed them. 
I bought some new collars today, so I'm gonna change out some collars really fast when they're all in here, give me a chance to calm down, give them a chance to calm down. Uh, I think what I'm gonna do is use the grain to walk them out and lock them out. And then I'm gonna deal with Zelda. So let me change out some collars. Okay, so just switched out Twiz and Nani. You can see that um, their collars, Twiz's especially is pretty beat up. So these were two, you can see this, they have like a different brand. It's their Valhoma, and the ones that I use are these coastal ones. I bought four because I didn't really know. CC might need to change out two. You know what, let me just grab her and go ahead and do that because hers is a little small. So that was a coastal one, but you can see I've up, moved up a size in the coastal to these. They're a little longer. Okay, let's see if we can walk them out. Daisy actually needs the next size up. So I probably need to buy a bigger one for her and take that one and put maybe on Tink. Link probably could also use the next size up. All right, come on guys, let's go. Let's see if they'll come with me. So now this one's interesting because I have food. Of course, we'll get her all the way down here after run her all the way back up. It's just bizarre. I'm trying, dudes. And it should be easier to deal with if I could get the boys locked up. This is the problem with them sharing a fence. It's just not ideal. But it's saving us money, and that's what I keep trying to think, is that they would have been on hay for two months if we weren't doing this. And I don't really want them on hay. So we still have a few left in the barn. I can see Patty, Cece, Pepper. Here comes Patty, Pepper. You guys have water out here a little bit. Come on. Let's go over here. No, I want you to come all the way over here. Okay, so this is everybody but Cece who's still up at the barn which is fine. Uh, this will kind of calm everybody down. It will also give me the chance to get Zelda separated and hopefully back up to the barn and out and in with the boys for the rest of the afternoon. Uh, if I could pick them up, it would be easier, but they're 60, 70 pounds, so me being able to like carry them a long distance, not ideal. I can show you two of the new collars. So we put a blue one on Nani. I think that pretty blue looks good on her. And then this red one on Twiz. She's like a little present. I think those are pretty. And then I put a pink one on CC. Yeah, let's go. Come on. Yeah. Would you like to go see a boyfriend? Mom will take you. The further she'll walk on the better for me. Come on, Zell. Come on, Zell. Come on. Let's go have a snack. Just want her to come have a snack. As far as she'll come, come on. Oh, there you go, yes. Let's go. Okay. I know, you don't want to be out there. Okay. This poor camera is gonna get broken, so she's up there. Let's see if we can get her in with the boys. Come on, let's go over here. Let's go see him. Yeah. Yeah, here they are. <laughs>
absolutely kills me. So um, this is why it's so hard to tell when she's in heat because she takes on more of a Bucky role. And this is kind of how she acts. He's mounted her a couple of times, I think sort of successfully because she's one that doesn't always take. I need to get him some water, but I'm gonna leave him in here probably a little bit longer than I would normally. I don't know why she's running. But this is kind of, I don't know. I think this is kind of why she's so hard to get pregnant is because she kind of uh, doesn't know that she's supposed to be the girl in this situation. So I don't know why she's going down there. Uh, I'm probably just gonna throw some water out for her and for him and grab some more water for the girls that are out. I need to walk this one out with everyone else but I don't think she cares to go. Uh, but she looks so cute in her pink collar. Look at you in your pink. Mom's favorite color is pink. It is. I think you look pretty. Uh, she's probably happy right here and does not care. So I'm probably just gonna leave her Leave them. I'm gonna go get them some water. Hope that in an hour or two they'll figure it out Like like I said, he's been mounting. I don't really know why she's like running away and that's the This pin is too big to breed in. It's just too big What are you doing? This is the boyfriend that you wanted. Yes, it is <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is the boyfriend that you wanted. Uh, the piggies are up there. Yeah, it is the boyfriend that you wanted. I don't know what to tell you. You picked him out. <laughs> Give him a chance. He's pretty stinky. They've been in together for about an hour now and she's finally kind of settling and letting him mount a little bit more. I had to bring the girls up because there's, one of our neighbors is down at the creek, but it's not the neighbor, it's I think probably their kids and grandkids. And they've got a dog off leash down there, which is fine. But just for my sake and their sake, I brought them. All up here, you just never know. The dog didn't seem interested in them at all. Um, but Duke did not like it and he was standing there barking and I didn't want him going through the fence or that dog coming through the fence to him. The easier thing is to just bring everybody back up, not to tent that dog or my dog because my dog uh, could have eaten that dog. It's not a good way to make friends and probably would have given how um, unhappy he was had the dog approached the fence and so probably super sweet dog probably would have done nothing but better safe than sorry and this guy was just super nervous and didn't like it and the minute that I brought them back up he's laid down he's only up because I am out here talking and he's wanting some attention but he came back in and and laid down didn't you to did mom I know. There's a fluffy dog down there that you don't like. We don't need to eat the neighbor's dog. Are you done? Are you done? Would you like to go back in with your friends? I don't know that mom has seen this be successful yet. Oh, they're pretty calm. It's hot, I know. I know. Don't pee in the water, don't pee in the water. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like I was just out here. Charmaine just got home. They went to Dallas 
yesterday to buy, buy his oldest brother a truck and they're really excited. He and his dad and his oldest brother all went and hopefully we've got three of our girls bred. That would be nice. Three of the, how many do I have to breed? Nine to be like a third of the way through. Bunny's the one I'm skeptical about because I do think we were early for her. Sorry if like all we're having is breeding videos for the next couple of weeks. So that really kind of confirms for me Zelda's not pregnant, just hormones for just the little tiniest bit of utter swelling that she has, which is sad, no fall babies. I have wondered if Pixie has been in heat the last couple of days, but I don't think so. Twiz was all over the fence. Hello, sweetie. You'll be one of my last ones. You will be, we missed you the other day when mom was not feeling good. We did, you got spider web on your nose. And we got the spider web on your nose. I don't think I'm gonna lock them up. I think they've been sleeping out here because it's been hot. The big stretch nons. Look how pretty Twizzy looks in her pretty collar. She's never had a pretty collar and neither has Nani. So I kind of love the, the bright colors. And that blue looks good on our Nani bear. Fashion, goat fashion. Yes, it's a go fashion. Hey, Mom, I'm pretty. You are pretty. We were. Ryan and I talked all about your sister today, all about Toffee, who you look exactly like. Come on, let's have dinner. Mom's just spilling food everywhere. Yes, it's dinner. You guys, I can't get it in the bowl. Y'all are all in the bowl. Stand here and watch you be cute tonight, okay? Mangy buck, have some dinner. Night, night, buds. Good night, bunny. Good night, bunny. Good night, bunny. No, stop. Pepper. Good night, pepperoni. Good night, deli. Poppy. Okay, we'll say our night, night, sister. <laughs> Good night, Pop Pop. Good night, pepperonis. Good night, bunny. Good night, Daisy Goat. Say night night, Daisy. Night night. Oh, we've already said night nights to you. Night night, Pixie Stick. Night night, best friend. Hmm? Night nights. Night night, links. Night night, Link. What's your good boy? Nannies. Night night, Nannies. Night night. It's a good girl. Twizzer, you're hiding in here. Night night, Twizzy. Good girl. Night night. Yes. Oh, no. Oh, your turn. Night night, Cece. We're so good. Good night. Good night, Tinkerbell. Good night, Mama Tanya's goat. My littlest girl. Good night. Nine, nine, sweet baby. Yes, she's a good girl. 